you're an expert in prostate cancer, uh, yeah. still a, a big problem for men. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Do we have a good idea of, <clears throat> of the causes? It, it, prostate cancer, like any other cancer, um, it's, it's very difficult to pinpoint uh, a cause. Now, my, I theorize, like many other cancers, uh, that uh, prostate cancer is an environmentally induced disease. Um, I also, I am actually uh, finishing up my book on the, uh, on, on the topic, so I'm very much versed in it now uh, from a scientific and literature perspective. Um, um, I'm, I also believe that uh, just because you have a genetic pattern to prostate cancer does not uh, make you uh, more prone necessarily to prostate cancer. Um, there's a whole area of science called epigenetics that shows that your environment either causes these cancer genes to, to uh, express themselves or, or not to express themselves. So uh, I, I certainly believe, and, and at, at this point pretty much conclusively, that uh, the environmental aspects uh, have a greater contribution to uh, the formation of, and development of, of prostate cancer. What sort of things are we talking about? Well, um, what happens with men as they get older? You're rarely going to find a 22-year-old male with prostate cancer. Um, you oftentimes, it's, a, it's, a, it's an uh, 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 aging disease, like many other diseases. What happens with men as they age is a variety of things. They become, they st become more stressed, so right around their 30s, what happens, right? Uh, more responsibility, more children, uh, bills, et cetera, and, you know, work stress. Um, so that, I think, is a major factor. Um, then what comes along with that is less physical activity, less movement, you get bigger and, mm. and, and so forth. You, you increase your, uh, your body composition changes, there's more body fat in there. Well, what happens when there's more body fat? You ha you're more estrogenic when there's more body fat. So there's a lot of receptors in the pro around the prostate that are for estrogen. Well, we're not supposed to be too estrogenic. What I can tell you is that it used to, we used to believe that testosterone caused prostate cancer. That's not the case. Again, 22-year-olds that have flaring <laughs> testosterone levels don't get prostate cancer. I think at this point in time that at least one of the, uh, one of the hormonal aspects that are, uh, contributes to the risk is actually estrogen as one gets older. I think that's an important factor, of course, things that you eat and don't eat physical activity, staying lean and mean is actually uh, pr prevents you or lowers the risk of prostate cancer. Um, and taking good, solid nutrients, um, minerals, magnesium, selenium. Selenium is a, it's a, if it's not, if you take it in a supplement, it should not be selenium, selenomethionine because the literature in, clearly indicates that actually, that actually increases the risk. You want to take something like high selenized yeast from uh, Seleno XL, for example. Um, and and I, I think uh, controlling blood sugars is very important. That could, that could be a very lengthy conversation, but we'll leave it at there. We'll leave it there for now.